Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. This is Cricket Captain 2016. Now, it's it's, it's pretty much like a, a, a cricket management game. I haven't played this for years. I'm Joe, if you're new around here. And uh, yeah, this uh, I, I picked this up this morning on uh, G2A uh, for something like six quid, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and yeah, I don't think I've played Cricket Captain since about 20... 20 2011 not 2211 um so you know it'll it'll be interesting to see what's changed and we might make a full series on this we'll see how it does but this is just going to be a part one for now and um a lot will depend whether i can actually record this with me windows thing so here we go um yeah let's start a new game um and just to start off with we'll do an international career with England and we'll type in my name there we go uh, for some reason it's not maybe you can't use caps lock so there we go type in that uh, skill level we'll just put on normal uh, and I only really want to be the manager of test team so we'll do that start the game. Now there's no actual sounds at the moment, or at least I can't hear those sounds if there is um, for some reason. I, I don't know why, there used to always be like a, a little noise when you when you clicked, so don't know if there's any settings there that I'm um, not pressing, but here we go. Uh, so let's have a look at the team. There's nobody in the team yet, of course, because we haven't announced a squad. Um, so We've got the first test match against Sri Lanka, which has just happened in real life. So let's continue towards that. That's on the 19th of May. And I'm going to be a bit controversial this series and call the players that, you know, don't play for England anymore. Um, some of you guys might know who I'm talking about. Um, but here we go with the England squad now then. This man is coming into the, the team, Kevin Peterson. Uh, very wrongfully dropped. Look at his statistics. He's going to be the stable of our team. Uh, we've got Ian Bell there. Uh, he doesn't really play much. Ravi Bapara, Paul Collinwood, obviously uh, Triscothic and Trot don't play anymore. Carberry, actually, it was announced this week he had cancer, so that's very very sad to see. Nick Compton, I don't want him in the in the squad. Uh, I've got Josh Butler and Mo and Ali. Stu Bro, Chris Walks, Alex Hales, Liam Plunkett. Um hold on, can we can we have a look just at the squad at the moment? There we go, selected squad. Uh, Mark Woods apparently injured or something. Let's have a look. Um There's nothing actually there about him. Uh but apparently he can't be selected so we'll remove him. Uh I don't know who this guy is. What's his name? Craig Miles. Uh, what's his form been like? Let's have a look. Bowling form. Yeah, he's been in pretty good form recently for Gloucestershire. Uh, Chris Rushworth there. But that's been a guy called up this week called Ball, I think. Oh, that's his name. Um, there certainly doesn't seem to be as many. Oh, well, uh, there you go. I think it's this guy, is it? J Ball? Jake, yeah, Jake Ball, because uh, some of them was said about him being the first ever Jake to play for England. Let's have a look. Yeah, his form hasn't been great recently. Um, but we'll 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 just stick with things how they are at the moment. I think. Um, I mean, we could have a look at the current year. Uh, oops, and go on first class. Uh, should be on here somewhere. There we go, and be able to sort them by. Bowling, uh, so Stephen Finn's doing well. This guy, <coughs> pardon me, this guy B Hutton. Don't know who he is. Brett Hutton, never even heard of that guy. Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a bit out the loop in terms of cricket at the moment. So, uh, you know, I, don't, I haven't really watched it that much the last few years. Uh, 
But we'll keep, we'll keep it like it is for now. We're about five minutes into the video. I'm sure you guys just want to see some gameplay, so we'll keep it like this. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody that I want in there anyway. There's oh, selected 17 of 12, so we need to drop a few players. So Rush Rushfeth can go. That Miles kid can go. Liam Plunkett, I do like you a lot, but you can go as well. Um, now then, who do we get out? get rid of out of these there's two more we have to drop Peterson Stain no matter what uh, so we'll sort of well we'll have a look at form Stu Broad's not playing well more than Ali um, Ben Stokes maybe could be a guy to get rid of uh, Alex Hales yeah Alex Hales you can go uh, we'll open with Joe Root and Alistair Cook and balance hasn't been playing well, so we'll do that, and we'll keep Ian Bell and Kevin Peterson in, and not go according to real life at all. So let's get Peterson on the bat and practice. Uh, let's get Bell. Actually, he's in good form, so he doesn't need it. We'll get him in bat and practice. Uh, Moan Alley, bit of bowling practice. Estu Broad, some bowling practice. Uh, Joss Butler, uh, field and technique. Uh, catching and keeping. Uh, how many more sessions do we have? Uh, three, so uh, we'll have Anderson on bowling and we'll go Alistair Cook bat and practice. Two seconds there, guys. Sorry about that minor interruption, guys. We'll, uh, we'll put Bell on some bat and practice and some physio sessions. Well, we'll give Alistair Cook one. Um, and Ian Bell, I think. They're the only two guys that have pretty poor fitness. So there we go. I think we're just about ready to get into things here. So here we go. Play the match. Now and then Alistair Cook will open um, with Joe Root. We're going to have Ian Bell at three with uh, Johnny Bairstow at four. Uh, we're going to actually bring off Johnny Bairstow. And have just Butler as the keeper. <coughs> James Anderson's going to be with first bowler. Sorry. And this is a glitch that's remained through. Uh, you can actually swap the bowlers around uh, as far as I know. Uh, Chris Walks down there at 8, Mo and Ali. We're going to swap him with him. Uh, ben Stokes at 5. That seems okay. Um, this looks like a pretty good batting lineup, and we'll see how things go. Hopefully, Kevin Peterson can get a hundred a day. That would be absolutely sweet. But let's have a look at the conditions. Uh, so the light's very good, bounces average, uh, the wear's good, uh, and the outfield is average. Weather forecast looking okay. We should get a, a a full day's play in today. So let's play the match. Uh, heads is the call. We've won the toss. Why not? We'll bat first. Here we go. So, this is the the screen. Uh, we'll keep them on defensive for now. Uh, now we'll put. Uh, well, we don't want high. We'll put. Yeah, we'll put boundaries and wicket chances and stuff like that uh, on as as the. Um, as the highlights, so here we go. Let's do the first ball, and nothing happened. So what I used to do is just play the full over, and here we go. That's a lovely little shot there. That left the bat like a rocket. Four runs from Alistair Cook, and some wonderful uh, commentary there from Jonathan Agnew from BBC Test Match Special. So we'll just see what happens. Joe Root. Yeah, nice shot. Nice shot, but a misfield. That's a four. It's nice to see the graphics have stayed the same after all these years, which is absolutely brilliant. But uh, these two are going along nicely. Uh, we're not at a very good run rate, so we'll just move up a little bit. Um, whoops. Uh, link aggression. No, we'll, we'll keep it like that. Joe Root now. Excellent shot. Hook for four. Good cricket. A pull for four. I think it might be a pull. Well hit. And again, here we go. A nice. Just can't bowl there for this man. 
has timed that beautifully. That's four. So apologies if it's rather loud, because uh, obviously I'm listening to it quite quietly. So uh, we might just turn them off the the highlight sounds as well, and uh, we'll we'll focus on me commentating. Although that is pretty obnoxious. So a nice cover drive there for four by Joe Root, and we're trundling along nicely here. Uh, we will. <laughs> change that back to uh, highlight sounds on um, and we'll, uh, we'll stick with that so keep playing the orders dual root 4 not bad at all and again another 4 so doing very very well at the moment uh, root on 38, Cook on 13, uh, so Root definitely more settled than Cook at the moment, and here's Pereira, Bowling to Cook, ah nice shot for 4 there, um, I might actually change it to just chances now, so we'll only see when there's wicked chances, and here we go here, could be 1, well they're appealing for it, not out. Has Joe Root passed his 50 yet? Not quite. Another chance already. I haven't had a wicket chance all day. Oh, and Cook's gone. Bold. Alistair Cook, the first man to go for 20 of 57 balls. He never looked that comfortable, to be honest with you. And, um, yeah, that, that wasn't great. So, Ian Bell comes to the crease for his return to an England shirt, and hopefully he can get some good runs today. Oh, here we go. We've got a, we've got a ball to him already, and he's gone. Ian Bell now gone for six. England uh, seventy-four for two, so not great. And he has Kevin Peterson, and hopefully he can get a hundred. But he, he hasn't scored in eight balls. Ah, he's finally off the mark. Excellent. Joe Root creeping towards his fifty, and that's his fifty. Let's let's watch the moment. We he got his 50, Joe Root, ever dependable, and he gets a 4 and brings up his 50, which he'll be very, very pleased about. And Kevin Peterson, uh, starting to look pretty good there. Well, I, don't, I don't know what that, that was all about. But uh, that's lunch on day one already. England 103 for 2, Joe Root 59, not out, Peterson at the crease as well, and, and we're looking okay at the moment actually, and uh, we're going to build a solid score, let's get into the next session, and uh, yeah, Joe Root moving towards his 100, which is excellent to see, um, not much in, in the way of things happening at the, at the moment, Peterson on strike, and that's high in the end. Oh, it's been caught. Kevin Peterson gone on his return for 32 off 69 balls. Nice to see him return in to an England shirt. And well, Kevin Peterson, 32, got settled but didn't didn't quite go on and make a big score. We're going to make Joe Root a little bit more aggressive now. And uh, Ben Stokes comes to the crease and hopefully he'll be able to do something good as well. So Joe Root on 80 now, getting very close to his 100, he's into the 90s already, so he's hitting a few 4s now, um, oh Joe Root on strike, oh, they're going to appeal, and it's been given, Joe Root out in the 90s, 93, 179 balls, he 13 4s, no 6s, at a strike rate of 52%, um, that's very unfortunate actually, 93 for Joe Root, not often you see him get out in the 90s, but uh, another solid innings from him. And now, what were it? 173 for four, so these two need to, you know, settle down um, the the thing until T, and the, there's T just come now. Uh, 207 for four then, Joe Root scoring with 93. Ben Stokes already on 39, so hopefully he can get a, a decent score out there. We're actually uh, going to stay a little bit more defensive just after T, 
and and then we'll move up the the aggressor a little bit and see what these two can do. Oh, that's LBW. Yep, given. I don't think there'll be any umpire reviews or anything on this game, so not that we'd need one. That was absolutely plum. And uh, Chris Walk's gone for 27 LBW, but uh, not bad innings from him. So Josh Bit Butler comes into things. We're going to automatically go a little bit more aggressive and regret it because he's going to get out here. Looks like an inside edge, but not given. So we'll move him back down. And we'll see what we can get. 50 for Ben Stokes. Very, very good to see that. Six fours, one six at a strike rate of 73.2. And uh, Josh Butler's already powering away here. But he could be out. No, nothing happened there. So this game's obviously only came out, I think, two weeks ago. So, um... It's it's great actually seeing another cricket captain game. I, d I didn't know they still made them, uh, but I, I played the one ICC three I think it was called, and that was back in two thousand and seven or something. Michael Vaughan was still on the game. Uh, Sri Lanka have taken the new ball, so we'll just go a little bit more defensive. Um, but ben Stokes, seventy eight at the moment, and I think I've just jinxed him. Yeah, he's gone. I was going to say he's moving towards his 100 now, but 78 from Ben Stokes. A pleasing innings. Well, 82 actually from Ben Stokes. Pleasing innings. Um, and, yeah, let's have a quick look at it. 9 fours, 1 6 at a strike rate of 65.1. And, yeah, he's looked very, very good. And, uh, yeah, I think we might do one more day, actually. And uh, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah, just put on thirty-five. Uh, Moan Ali there as well. We'll see if we can see out the day. And we'll have end of day one. So we're at three hundred and thirty-seven for six. That's not too bad. Um, oh, could have maybe done better with a couple of the scores: ninety-three and eighty-two from Rutan. And, and Stokes uh, but Josh Butler's interestingly got his 50 in that last over and he's powering along lovely and uh, we'll see what he can do today and that's an inside edge for 4 from Moan Alley so things are going our way we are going to go a little bit more aggressive now that we've passed 350 are they going to appeal? they are and well that's been given an inside edge apparently to uh the keeper and yeah we'll we'll see what we can do here uh, Stuart Broad will go a little bit more aggressive again that's outside the line surely yeah struck outside the line it was gonna gonna hit on but yeah, they're not appealing that either right Broad oh that's plum he's gone yeah so Broad gone for four, and now Jimmy Anderson to the crease. Uh, we'll get more to keep strike and be a bit more aggressive. Oh, he's gone for a duck. Jimmy Anderson doesn't usually go for a duck, and now whoever the bowler is, uh, uh, Aranga, on a hat trick, but didn't get it. Now Moore and Ali's going to keep the strike. Oh, but he's been bowled, and England all out for 374. Not too bad. Let's have a a, a look at the scorecard then. Alistair Cook, 20, um, and then Root, 93. Brilliant innings from him. Ian Bell, disappointing on six, one of the lower scorers uh, on the on the scorecard. We've got Kevin Peterson, 32 on his return. I'm expecting better from him in the second innings. And uh, we've got Ben Stokes, 82. Very, very happy with him. Chris Walks, 27, did a job. Uh, Joss Butler there on 60. Uh, not too bad at all. Uh, Morn Alley with 33, again, <coughs> doing his job. And uh, Stu Broad, 4. Uh, Jimmy Anderson, a duck. And Stephen Finn, not out for one. So, bowling card for Sri Lanka then. Uh, Eranga 5 for 92 was the, the pick of the bowlers. 3 for 
113 for uh, uh, Shanaka and one each for Herath and De Silva. So, that is going to be the end of episode one. I think in the next episode we'll do the Sri Lanka innings, and if it's quick enough we'll get the England second innings in as well, or the Sri Lanka second innings, whatever it's going to be. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to, of course, but mean love for me and for the channel. And, uh, yeah, let us know whether you want to see more of this down in the comments section. Uh, if you want us to edit it up, I can. Um, or if you want to see the 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 highlights, you know, all the boundaries and stuff, or whether you're happy just seeing the, the chances, obviously, you guys uh, determine how the series go. But uh, let us know. Uh, I am going to do another couple of parts of recording, so you probably won't see uh, the results until episode 3 or 4. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.